So in this video, we're going to quickly go through hurricane preparedness, but not only just you know making your kits and having your plans, but also on the real estate side with insurance and kind of the, the actions to take and think of as we're getting into this hurricane season. So I'm gonna go over the general stuff and then Heather's gonna take it away with the insurance. So, hey everyone, my name is Josh Gorsuch. I'm located here in the beautiful central Florida and I have the amazing Heather Curry with me. How are you, Heather? I'm good. How are you? I'm Heather Curry and I'm located in St. Rose Beach, Florida in the Panhandle. So we are going to cheers. I know it is now hurricane season, but cheers to all of us Floridians and visitors. Let's have a not eventful year. So let's drink to that. Yes. Cheers to that. <laughs> cheers to that. So just as a quick reminder, um, obviously make sure you have an evacuation plan. Talk to your county. Um, if you have pets, know where they can and can't go. I know that's one thing we never really think of, but my little fur baby, I'm never going to forget it, but when a hurricane comes, who knows where our brains go. So make sure you think of your pets, cash. I always keep a ton of cash in hand um, and gas. Lord knows we had some crazy okay. people here in Florida with the gas lately. So just go ahead. If you have a generator, make sure you have five gallons. You can add additive to your gas to keep it good. Just just get it done. Be done with it. You don't want to deal with the craziness of um, trying to get gas. Speaking of generators, please keep those outside. There have been so many deaths with generators um, outside that it puts out. So please think of that. Um, and again, just talk to your local county, know where everything's at, have your medications ready, make a little punch list. And last thing I wanted to touch on, Heather, is the lumber prices are crazy. Oh, I so know. when you board up your windows and you go to buy plywood, now you're $3,000 into plywood. So I, I don't know if they have the metal sheeting or anything like that. Just think outside the box with those things. And um, local counties might have some other ideas or go to your Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware and see what's there that could be a good fit as well. So just things to think of way ahead of time. Um, blah, I just said so much, but now I'm going to leave it to you, Heather talking on the real estate side with insurance and the policies and kind of yes. things. Yes, so. thank you so much for all of that too, because a lot of people don't think about that. And then all of a sudden the hurricane is on its way and they're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Especially I mean, if they're yeah. new to the area and we have a lot of new people coming to Florida. Yes, we do. So please watch this video. So that being said, I'm gonna to touch on insurance policy. I would love it if everybody would review their insurance policy and get familiar with it as far as what coverage you have for your home. Um, there is going to be a deductible should you suffer any damage, of course. And then, of course, if you are purchasing in the state of Florida, there is a rule that if there is, because I live along the coast, um, but I think that this is a, a rule across the board in the state of Florida, that when you are purchasing a home, um, one of the last things that people do in, in purchasing their home through the transaction is binding their insurance. If there is a name storm in the Gulf, they will not actually bind your insurance until the storm has moved or is passed. And so that therefore the closing is generally um, moved. So it will not close until after the hurricane has passed. So that is probably one of the first things that you should do if you do wanna close on time is go ahead and buy that insurance in the transaction now that we have moved into the hurricane season. So um, yeah, I mean, just really any kind of important documents that you could possibly get, especially if a hurricane is coming and you do own not only the insurance company or not only the insurance policy, but also make sure the deed to your home and any kind of documents relating to that are on board as well, that you have those. Perfect, yeah, and I'll, I'll even add on to some of that and just this coming to fruition now is, um, yeah. Take a video of the inside and outside of your home before any hurricane, obviously. And I say, get detailed. Look at your, you know, 55 inch screen TV. If you have anything really valuable, make sure you get all that in the video so that you have you have that in hand in case the insurance companies try to really go after you and and and, and mess with you in that sense. Um, hopefully, they they don't do that, but always be prepared. Yes, um, absolutely. And then have an inventory other, list. Sorry. Have an inventory list. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I'm a nerd. I, you know, I have to analyze everything and have a spreadsheet, so not going there. Um, oh man, we can be here for days with that. <laughs> Important things. Right. Um, and then some other things I would suggest is if you, 
if you don't have to have flood insurance, it's still good to know if a hurricane does hit your home and you do get flooded, talk to your insurance agent, know your policy, because a lot of the damage is water. It's not really wind. So if you're in a flood zone, make sure you know your flood zone policy. And if you're not, still kind of figure out if that's something that you would want to add. If you're in a semi-low area or you're just afraid of something, look it up, have the conversation before the hurricane starts. Um, and then lastly, for our investors out there, if, whether you have two homes or 200 homes, it's probably nice to check in on your investments or have your property manager do that, but also go over your insurance policies as well. Make sure you're set because God forbid you have, you know, 10 properties in one area and they all get damaged. Now you're just in a conundrum of, of junk that you probably don't want. So, uh, right. Always to be safe than sorry. Yes. Always ask good questions too. Um, yes. So having a good insurance agent. And if you don't have any good insurance agents, you got two realtors here that know plenty that we can uh, send your way. So we want, make, we want to make this short and sweet. Um, Heather, do you have anything else to add off of, off of those items? Um, no. Oh, just in proof of your ID, proof of ID in your bank statements as well, just in case something were to happen. You definitely want to have those on hand because it is absolutely necessary to prove who you are. Mm -hmm. And also, also your financial institution will need all that information. You will be surprised in how many people leave home without important documentation. Yeah, just have a little. If you have to evacuate. Yeah, just, I would say, just have a little container of some kind that's waterproof and just have everything in there and have a little checklist at the top of the container that says, do I have this, 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 and this? Yeah. Have it off, be done, and take it with you, so. Like passports and social security cards and driver's license, bank statements, all of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know it's crazy to talk about all of this, but my goodness, it's it's crazy when it comes down to it, so. Well, because in a lot of people, especially like I said, if you're not used to being, if you don't live in Florida or you just moved here, you don't think of those things. So definitely, definitely mm -hmm. keep them on hand. Yeah. Um, again, always go back to your county. Um, they usually have um, some pretty good websites for that, for preparedness and routes and things like that. But we hope this helped you. Um, and again, we hope this year is very uneventful. And again, to that, I'm going to drink and wish Cheers. all of us some good luck this year because I know that we is so true especially since I feel like our hurricane season is getting longer and longer every single year yes yes well all we can do is have fun and um and hope for the best so that's great hopefully this helped all of you out there thank you so much for joining make sure you share this with friends and family or people that are thinking of moving to Florida just so they know what it all entails and if you have any extra items that you want to add Comment below, add those. We're just here to bring some, some information and knowledge to y'all. So, Miss Heather, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for yours. Good to see you as always. You as well. I hope you enjoyed the beach before any hurricane season starts. I know. I'm in real estate, honey, and I'm so white. I mean, <laughs> I'll enjoy the beach when the season's over, whenever that may be. Yeah, get out there and tan. So, that's right. <laughs> Anyways, all right, y'all. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.